Flames force a uh, New Carlisle mother and her two young children from their home early this morning. This happened in the 200 block of Rawson Avenue. Sonu Wasu was live to give us a look at how it all began. Well, Marsha, firefighters are blaming this on a burning candle on the woman's nightstand. Firefighters say it caught a lampshade on fire, and that was it. The tiny candle then sparked a big blaze. Most of the heavy fire damage was limited to the back bedroom, but smoke destroyed much of the homeowner's furniture and belongings. Now, it happened just after 3 a.m. Fire crews from several departments responded. They had the fire knocked out pretty quickly. Medics were called after one firefighter suffered from exhaustion. He is doing okay, and so are the woman and her two children. Firefighters tell us they cannot stress candle safety enough. You need to keep an eye on your candles because what you're looking at here is the consequence of one that is unattended. In this, today's society, the synthetics that we got in, in these modern homes, it took off on her pretty quick. She was able to get her children out, her and her children out, and call the fire department. Just thank God that my daughter and my grandbabies are fine. That's, you know, the house and everything else can be replaced. How's she holding up? Uh, she's holding her own, but she's a mess, to say the least. Now, according to the U.S. Fire Administration, more than half of all candle fires uh, start because the flame is too close to combustible materials, such as that lampshade. Now, most of these fires take place in the bedroom, and half of all civilian candle deaths take place between midnight and 6 a.m. In this case, the family was lucky they got out on time. But make sure to blow them out before you go to bed. So, Nuwasu, 2 News on your side.